Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this RGB style text animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So, without any further ado, let's straight up jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this render as our main render comp. For the width, I'm going with 2560 and height is set to 1440. You can go with full HD or 4K if you want to. 30 FPS is the frame rate, 10 seconds long is the duration. Press OK. Let's create another new composition. This is going to be our text placeholder. So let's call this text with the same exact properties and press OK. Select the text tool and type in your first text. I'm going to type in graphic designer. And for the font, I will be using the Herma Gothic. I will provide the link to download this font in the project file below. So make sure you download the project file. Let's set this to bold and increase the size. Set this to zero. All right, there we have our text. Let's go into the text properties and here in the animate, I'm going to click and add a position. Let's set this one to around 800 and this one to 50. Go into the range selector. I'm going to make some room right here and let's animate the offset. So at the very start of our timeline, I'm going to set the offset to minus 100%, create a keyframe. Go to around 20 frames and set this to 100. So we have something which looks like this. Pretty weird. Let's fix this. So let's go into advanced properties and in the shape, let's set this to ramp up. And now the ease high and ease low is set to 0%. Let's push this all the way up to 100%. So now we have something like this. We have a much more smoother animation. Pretty cool. Now, I also want the text to animate from zero so that we get this really nice revealing look at the start. Right now, it's going from place A to place B. So to do that, we can just duplicate this animator one, press control D to duplicate it, go into animator two, and then go into add property and let's add a scale property. Unlink this and let's set this down to zero. Also, I'm going to delete the position. So select it and delete it. And now we have an animation that animates from zero. So it looks really cool. But also I will go into the range selector, go into advanced and set the ease high to minus 100. So this will give us this really nice movement in our reveal. So it's animating from zero and then it's going to a different section. Yeah, that is exactly what I want. Now what we can do is our animation is ready. We can duplicate this text, press control D and let's bring this at the top. Let's type in creative tools for graphic designers. We can change the font just to make it look a bit more aesthetically pleasing. So I'll go in, I'll go with clash cross tech, one of my favorite font and let's bring that down. Let's increase the spacing like so and we'll push this back by five frames. So now we have something which looks like this. But one thing that will sell out the effect is when you turn on motion blur by just turning on these two icons. So now we have this really nice look. Pretty nice and snappy. Now let's add some nice echo in order to create those stretchy animation or stretchy effect. So I'll create a new composition called this echo. Press OK. Let's select the text composition, drag and drop it like so. Duplicate this, so press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select the bottom one, go into effects and presets, search for echo effect. Double click to apply that. Set the echo time to minus 0 0.010. All right, so now we have something like this. Now we can increase the number of echoes to, let's go with five. 5 should be fine. So we have this really nice look and the DK, I'll set this to 0.5 or 0.7 should be fine. And set the echo operator to maximum. 
So now if I preview this, we have this really nice stretchy look. If you want to increase the intensity of the effect, you can increase the number of echoes. So if I set this to 10, we have a much more denser look, but it will also be a little bit more heavy on the system. So five is a sweet spot, but you can play around with the properties. And now it's time to add that nice RGB look to the complete animation, which is super easy to do. So let's create another new composition called the scene. Well, well, you can call it anything that you want, but I'm going to call this scene. Let's drag and drop the echo composition. And I'll go to around one second, I think. Press Ctrl Shift D to split the composition. We can change the color of this one to something different. So this is our main comp and this is the RGB split comp. There we go. And let's add a shift channel effect on this. I'm going to set this to full off, this to full off. We just want a blue channel and also toggle switch and change the blend mode of this to screen. Select it, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and turn off the blue channel and turn on the green channel. Duplicate this one more time. Turn off the green channel and now turn on the red channel. And then I'll move every layer by one frame like so and then make sure they all end together at this frame and pull this back. And now we have this nice RGB look. Pretty cool. And to add a final touch, I can go back into our main render composition, drag in the scene comp right here and then go into effects and presets, search for glow effect, double click to apply that. Let's increase the glow radius to 300. I'll place the time indicator at the very start and create a keyframe on the glow intensity. Then go to one second and set this down to zero. So now when the animation starts, we have a nice intense glow and then it's settled down as we move towards the end, which I think looks really cool. And to avoid any kind of color bending on our glows, we have to do two things. First of all, right click and create a new adjustment layer. Call this noise. Go to effects and presets, search for noise effect. And let's add that. Set this to around 5% and I'm going to turn these two property off. And now we have some nice noise over the layers, over the glow. And then also hold Alt and click on this 8 BPC to switch to 16 BPC. This will help us get rid of those color bending and make the glow look really nice. Pretty cool. Now the best part about this technique is that you can anytime jump into the title composition and change the way the text animates and the things will get updated in the main render composition. So let me show you with an example. So I'll duplicate this text, press Ctrl D. We can change the color of this so we know that it's a different text and we can hide all of the other text. So we have this animation. So let's tweak the animation a little bit. I'll go into the animator one and set this to zero and let's set this one to 500. So now we have a text that animates from the bottom like so. All right. So we have something like this. So if I go back, let's see what we have. We have this really cool look. And if you want to tweak it furthermore, I can go right here in the add property and add a scale probably and set this down to zero. And now we have a different animation and there you go. So you can play around with this technique, create some multiple different text animation and make them look super cool. So if you want to again tweak it, we can add a property of maybe let's add a tracking. Probably that would look good. So let's increase that. And now we have something like this. So let's see how it looks. Pretty cool, right? So you can go crazy with this effect and come up with some really unique animation. And by the way, you can even tweak this further more because I'm enjoying tweaking this. I can go into the paragraph and let's actually set this to maybe minus 100. Let's see what we get.
here is how I showed you how you can create four different text animation using this technique. So play around with this animation style, you know, use it for your Instagram reels to make them look more catchy and, you know, have fun. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to learn how to create some more advanced text animation, I have a complete playlist dedicated to title and text animation, which you can check out right now. First link in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always... Stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.